Hi guys, as most of you know, my name is Lisa Pascal, and I wanted to take some time to talk to you before we get started about the Warrior Fit 7 Day Challenge. As most of you know, we are so busy in our lives, we take so much time and energy talking about when I, how I'll do this when I. This challenge is about a commitment to oneself. It's about real integrity. I can't be hanging over your shoulder every day saying, hey, did you do that? Did you follow the food plan? Did you do your exercise? Did you do your spiritual teaching? This is about you making a commitment to yourself. We all need so very much to be able to accomplish things that are actually attainable, things that help us feel better, that help us create health, fitness, but not just for our bodies, for the way that we think. Integrity has to be the umbrella of what this experience is, and it's a personal integrity. It's our duty to ourselves to create a spaciousness within our own being that we commit to so that we can show up for ourselves with the most integrity. So the first step in this experience is getting authentic. Finding a way to be honest with yourself about where you're at, what you're really willing to do for yourself. Because we can wait for other people to hand us things on a silver platter. We can wait for someone else to create a challenge for us. Now, of course, I believe it's more fun when we do this together and it encourages us all when we're working together to stay on track. But the real integrity, the real authenticity has to start with where am I at? I'm going to tell you a few things about myself. Um, I've been divorced for several years. I was in a long-term marriage. At one point, I owned and founded eight yoga studios. It was a really amazing experience. And then that changed in, in my life. And with that change was a dismantling of what I thought I identified with, who I thought I was. When that part of my life became dismantled, and my identity very quickly began to deteriorate, I was left to sit with my own experience of simply being me. And I didn't understand for a long time what it meant to have authenticity, integrity without all the attachments to my identity. Now, of course, we have attachments to relationships, uh, to food, to work, to children, to the things that we desire. And a lot of those things for me um, began to dissipate as my world, as I had known it, collapsed. So in that time, I was able to really sit a lot <laughs> with myself. And in that quiet, unknown space, I started to cultivate some courage. And the courage didn't look like, hey, look at me, fierce mama P out there, you know, driving everybody up a mountain. The courage that I began to um, connect with, relate to, was the simplicity of just being and being honest with myself. What, what am I really limited by? And I started to discover that my real limitation had to do with my own fear of not being seen or experienced a certain way. And I realized that it was so difficult to share with people without the whole persona of Mama P and the yoga studios and the community. And as I sat with this um, over time, I started to realize that there had to be an umbrella of integrity in my life that was just about who I am, not what I do, not how other people necessarily perceive me, but about how I'm living in my own internal experience. And if I couldn't maintain a discipline and integrity with myself, if I couldn't hold a barometer for myself to hold myself to, then without all those identities, I felt like I had nothing. So I created an umbrella of grace for myself. And I asked myself often, even now, throughout the day, does this decision Am I, what am I about to eat? Um, is this exercise program? Is this relationship? Am I coming and operating from a place of grace in relation to this? And if I'm not, I know then it's not the right thing for me. The reason I'm sharing all this is because I've been through a lot of challenges. 
But the biggest challenge is staying committed to myself. Truth is a very difficult thing to um, commit to in our culture because we're so distracted by image, by how we want to be perceived. So I'm going to open this up and this is what I call the warrior plan. And the warrior plan is about being fierce, but not fierce in that sense of like, yeah, I'm going to stand up for everything. I'm going to fight every cause. It's about being fiercely committed to loving myself to healing within myself, and to showing up and doing the things that I say I'm going to do. So this warrior seven-day fitness, emotional detox, get connected spiritual plan is about you. It's about you taking the time not just to do the exercise and start to eat a little more healthy perhaps, but for you to take the time to create some space to really reflect on the things that you're identifying with and what is really driving you. So as we move through this journey, I'm going to continue to talk with all of you and share what I experienced going through this. And I'm hoping and encouraging you all to share as well. Recently, I was diagnosed with a disease. It's called fibromyalgia. And I know that a lot of people suffer from this condition in our, in our, in our world right now. And when I first um, was diagnosed with this condition, I was very scared because I'm a very athletic person. I like to operate at a high lo level of energy and it was really impeding the way I was living. So I decided that I wasn't going to own the disease. The disease wasn't going to own me. What I was going to do was allow it to be there for me as a teacher to help let me know when it's time to slow down, to help me quiet myself around some of the pain that this disease can cause and start to reflect on what I can do, what I can do for myself to stay committed to my integrity, my truth, to live a fit, conscious, gracious life. So I'm not perfect and I do struggle, but I believe that um, when I hold an umbrella over my life, over my whole story of grace and integrity, then I'm able to hold myself with spaciousness. And it's in that spaciousness that I can put aside my shame, my fear, my concern about what you might really be thinking about me. And I can just show up and sit with you face to face and have a conversation that isn't about accomplishing some goal. The idea of this challenge isn't to get through the seven days. It's to experience the process as we're going through it and to allow whatever needs to bubble up within us, the different challenges that bubble up within us to be there and to hold those different feelings, those different experiences in a space of love and healing. So I'm really excited to take this challenge with you. We're going to get um, pretty down and dirty physically. We're going to challenge ourselves with food. I have a huge sweet tooth, so you know, removing some of the sugars from my diet is not exactly my favorite thing to do, but I know it's good for me right now. Um, and we're going to share. I hope that we really are going to share with each other what what's going on for us, how maybe um, we're feeling as we go through this process. So I want to just thank you so much for having enough faith in yourself to step up and make a commitment to doing something that actually might help make a difference in your life. This challenge, again, is about having integrity, having grace, having the courage to know when to be gentle with yourself, having the courage to tell the truth even if it's uncomfortable, and most importantly, having the courage to matter. So I love you all sincerely. I'm really excited to get started with you. Um, I'm going to be posting different things on Facebook um, that you might need as we move forward through the week. And this is just the beginning. I am so excited that you're on board with me. Please contact me, private message me, whatever you need through this experience. And I know together we're all going to grow. And I believe so much so that one person at a time, we do make a difference in the world. So make a difference by starting with yourself. And let's see how it goes. Namaste.